Good morning, mamas, and welcome to my channel. Today is my overview and tips on trimester two. I'm 27 weeks pregnant, last week in my second trimester, and I will be entering 28 weeks in third trim, officially third trimester, and I just can't believe that I'm already gonna be in my third trimester and that I will see this little guy so soon and I'm excited and nervous at the same time how I'm gonna do three kids under five I guess um, because my firstborn is just turned four um, and then I my Oliver is one and he will he will be so so he will be about I think 14 or 14 or 15 months when William is born and yeah so I've been feeling really good this second trimester uh, the, in the beginning um, I was still a little bit nauseous here and there but not much this pregnancy I've been barely nauseous so it, it was very rare it was mostly when I would drink coffee I would always get nauseous but that went away I've been drinking coffee here and there like for several weeks already and no nausea at all, no nausea from any foods at all. Here is my 27 week belly. It is growing, it's very big. I feel overall very blessed that this my last third pregnancy has been going very well um, and that it's been the easiest pregnancy by far compared to my other first two pregnancies and just this overall second trimester I've had some pain and that's when I started having uh, pain it was mostly in the beginning, like around 16 weeks, um, is when I started having pain when I would walk. And so I scheduled an appointment to the chiropractor right away. And I got in like a few days in, later in, and I just got one adjustment. They recommended some exercises, which I did like just twice, and that's it. Um, but since then, I had maybe one or two two more times of that pain uh, recently, right after the appointments, a couple days later, um, and then they haven't come since. So I feel like at least for a good six weeks, if not more, like about six weeks, I've had no pain um, walking um, or discomfort, like um, hip discomfort or anything. Um, but I definitely noticed that a sleeping with a pregnancy pillow helped tremendously that um, when I would sleep without a pregnancy pillow that pain would start to come back um, and I also did buy a donut pillow and use that um, when I was sitting on the couch when I would be sitting in the car and now recently I started noticing that if I would sit too long on the couch um, and like I tried to get up I had to get up really slowly because my whole muscles in my legs would be very sore like um, like they needed some stretching and kind of awakening a little bit to start walking um so that's been kind of a little weird but it's not always but just a few times um and for most of my second trimester i've had very low energy now it's getting a little bit higher but i'm expecting it to go back lower into my third trimester because i'm getting bigger and bigger and that is when my pregnancy reality kicked in is that oh um i'm pregnant 
and plus William started kicking pretty early too. I felt him, um, I think the first time I felt him was like 13, 14 weeks maybe, maybe even 11 weeks a little bit, um, but barely. But the, I would say at least since so about at least seven to eight weeks I've been feeling him a lot and he kicks a lot um, this week hasn't kicked like crazy amount of time but last week he would just be on I have no idea like all day long he would just be kicking away like it was, it was crazy I have no idea what he was doing um, but definitely like my whole pregnancy in the beginning I did just did not believe I was pregnant it just didn't kick in because I was like I just did this not that long ago and it just didn't feel so real and I felt like overall good I didn't feel nauseous constantly and you know I didn't have a belly back then so it just didn't feel real until I started having a belly and started growing a belly and um, starting he feeling him kick all the time is when like oh yeah like like just kicked in that I am pregnant and it just like finally kicked in when he started kicking and my belly growing and started showing and um and yeah um so I am having an appointment end of this week and doing my glucose test so I will update you guys how that goes but overall my tips would be get a pregnancy pillow um, if you do have some hip pains and stuff do exercises um, there is on YouTube that is special like pregnancy exercises with women that have um, the pubic synthesis disorder I think that's what it's called like SPD something like that um, or PSD something like that um, but they have specifically an exercise um, routine I think or for that condition in pregnant women so if you have like hip pain or like the pain when you're walking and stuff um, and if it if you need like a donut pillow while you're driving which I need to put mine in my car because sometimes I have a little I'm st as I'm getting bigger sometimes like a little bumpy road is not very comfy um, so and I have been having Braxton Hicks here and there not much um, but just every couple days and that is pretty much it drink lots of water um because i constantly always forget to drink water and then i'm dehydrated and now it's getting super super hot here where i live um so i'm trying to drink as much as water and we've been going out and um going to the lake and stuff so yeah i think that's pretty much it drink your prenatals don't forget to do that sometimes i forget to do that probably I haven't drink I haven't drank wine today I should probably go to that um, but yeah just enjoy the last little bit that you have of pregnancy before you have a newborn and be sleep deprived but get to snuggle that little cute baby um, and yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye